The federal government has reacted to the alleged maltreatment of Nigerians in Guazon, China, in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. In the press conference on Tuesday in Abuja, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Godfrey Onyema, blamed the maltreatment to poor communication by the Chinese authorities. Onyema, while noting that the Chinese government insisted some Nigerians have been quarantined with strict measures, the minister stressed that the videos circulating online were of Nigerians who flouted the strict measures and the measure to check them were misinterpreted. According to him, a Nigerian national who tested positive for the virus wanted to leave the hospital for a week of quarantine, and when it was restrained, he beat a nurse. Earlier, Plus TV Africa had a conversation with Dr. Wallace Williams, President of the African Development Goals Initiative on the eviction of Nigerians from China. First to begin, let's call it what it is. It's not double standards, it's downright discrimination against Africans, and that has to be dealt with. It means that uh, African leaders have to get together, plus the AU, and either nationalize or retaliate in some way so that the Chinese understand and see that Africans are not to be played with anymore. Secondly, uh, you said we received medical officers. How do you know that they are medical officers? Have they been examined here locally? Uh, do you know what is their uh, qualifications? Do you know what is their specialization? Uh, they will have to be tested by a professional body locally here, Nigerian Medical Association and the Nigerian uh, uh, Association of Resident Doctors. So since they're already in quarantine, send two uh, professors, one a virologist and another one who is a specialist in respiratory matters, and then test them in terms of giving them a short examination. And that will be one day of theory and another day of practicals on their own Chinese who they said they've come to help. Um, I think it's a bit of a nonsense that uh, everywhere else in the world, you know, uh, is uh, with a very high percentage of deaths and uh, hospitalization, and that's where they should be, plus in their own country. Africa, Nigeria, does not have any sort of uh, numbers uh, uh, unless people are trying to get here to increase the numbers. I mean, that's a suspicion. We don't need uh, uh, Chinese doctors to come to uh, uh, undermine what is already being done. We have over how many? Six, 7,000 professional doctors. We have professors of virology. We have professors of respiratory matters. Uh, then let them be under the examination of these professors. And if they don't uh, uh, set up uh, uh, properly or stand up to uh, Nigerian standards, they must go back. Uh, we really don't need them here, and we really don't need them uh, elsewhere in Africa. They should head back to China and deal with their people. It's not double standards. It's a plan. That is how most people have seen it. It's some sort of plan, because when you hear Melinda and Belinda and whatever they call themselves, Gates, talk about uh, Africa is going to be awash with dead bodies, let them, uh, let them uh, be awash with dead bodies in their own country. I'm totally, uh, totally against Chinese been here. Let's nationalize the companies that they've come and set up in the, in the, in, in the continent, and let's be uh, uh, strong enough as a united Africa. That's what has to be done. Do you support the position of the chairperson of ADDI, African Diaspora Development Initiative, who has said that all African countries should retaliate immediately by AU telling China all debts will collectively be cancelled and ask them to leave African countries to demonstrate that Africa has finally woken up? You have absolutely hit it on the head. The AU, uh, former AU ambassador, uh, Arikana Kiao, uh, who has set up ADDI, is absolutely correct. All debts should be cancelled, and we should ask them to leave. It's the only way, because you can't walk into China and bring medical doctors to say that you can do X or Y. You can't walk into China and do the amount of things that they are doing here. It is because we have bad leadership, and that has to change. And that is what uh, AU, uh, former AU ambassador Arikana is saying. And she knows what she is saying. It is time that Africa unites as one and do exactly what they're supposed to do. Show that they've got some strength. And I agree with that entirely. That one has, this is the only way that not only China, but the rest of the world will wake up that Africa has finally awoken because we've been sleeping too long. And we've been allowed people to come and rape, plunder, 
uh, our resources and our countries. Because they know we are divided and we are multiple countries, that they go in and they do a deal with one and, uh, and, and they smile away to the bank. No, let us all put our resources together, pool our uh, talent, because we have talent all over the world, and show these Chinese and whoever else they want to think they are, that we are aware of their game and their game plan. And as she was saying as well, too, they're not only here for the resources, they are bursting at the same with their population. There are already 10 million in Africa. We don't want any more, and we don't want them. Send them back, because they're trying to occupy Africa as their next destination for population explosion. Some have said that the failure of our government to evacuate our citizens from other countries at this time may well send out the message that we don't value our citizens. So why should others value us? Well, uh, it, it is time that it, one country has to do something. If it's Nigeria taking the lead, or South Africa, or Ethiopia, or Ghana, send some aircraft and start taking our citizens out. Because if we do that, we are going to start demonstrating, one, that we value our citizens, and two, enough is enough. So the cry has to go out now from the citizenry, bring our citizens back home, however you can. And then when they come back, let's start the deal with getting rid of those who got rid of us. All right, thank you very much for joining us on the news. Thank you.